Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So now we are moving in the direction of defining the relationship, identifying all the entities and then creating the database script for our microservices. Okay, so this is a Swiggy clone and we will just try to identify all the entities, moving entities in the whole system. Okay, let's say the user, right? The who are, who all are using this application, the end user, the, the delivery guy and the restaurant owner. So these are actually three different type of users. They will use the same login console, but the, the redirection page after login will be different. So you can see the user type. User type is a, the consumer. User type can be a delivery guy or user type can be a restaurant owner, right? So user can be a one single entity. And they can be using the same login interface. The only thing is their type is different, right? So the user is one type. Then another entity which we can see is the restaurant, right? Restaurant will have the, the menu items and all these things. So second user, then restaurant, and the restaurant will have menu items because every restaurant will have a different set of uh, the menu items. So let's say menus, restaurant and user, these are the three entities. Now, I'm the end user, I will see the screen where I can just see the restaurant list and the respective menus of the restaurant, the different offers, promo codes and all these things. So there can be uh, the promo codes associated to the restaurant that that can be another entity, right? I can see this and then I will put the order. So order can be an entity because I'm placing the order against a particular restaurant and that order will have a menu items which I have selected, right? Once the order is created, <coughs> there will be a payment associated with that order. So payment can be another entity, order is another entity and then payment will process through this restaurant cycle right so once the payment is created so it's like an event driven system we are, we can think of creating you place an order it's kind of a reactive and event driven you place an order order is created now that order has been received by the restaurant right then delivery guy has been notified delivery guy has received a notification to pick up that particular order right then order has been picked up from the restaurant all these are actually the the events which we are generating from the system and some kind of a notification we are raising to the end user okay coming to the entity notification can be one entity and uh, because these notifications are being pulled up to the restaurant to the notification or to the delivery guy to the end user different kind of notifications we are sending right so once the order is received to the restaurant restaurant will notify okay food is being prepared then notification will be sent to the delivery guy delivery guy will pick up the order right so order delivery can be uh, another entity where there is a association of delivery guy against a particular order right so once you order once you done the payment then the, the rest entity is the order id now we have to track the order id with a swiggy delivery guy id and the, all the notifications so the overall ic is the user restaurant menu order payment and uh, the notifications right these are the kind of entities which i see there may be a more entities because the complex notification system and the event driven system we are going to think of with these simple simple microservices right payment will be done against a particular order so there will be a payment id generated we can actually use uh, integration of stripe for the payments once the payment is done the order id will be associated with the payment id and then order id will be associated with the swiggy delivery guy right so let's define these entities in the next video in using this uh, quick bdd i mean quick erd where we define all the entities attributes and the relationship one to one many to many many to one and one to many okay uh, thanks everyone